Okay guys, I'm going to head out to get a haircut. I've, uh, I've stalled getting a haircut. I was supposed to get a haircut before going to Taiwan and I didn't because I ran out of time. Then, when I came back from Taiwan, I was so busy taking care of things and um, I was supposed to get a haircut before going to Canada and I didn't. So, my hair has been growing so like really really long and it's been bothering me a lot and now I'm gonna make I'm gonna take the time to go there and get my hair cut oh did I just trip a car alarm okay so finally I think after I should have gotten a haircut a month and a half ago I, I just got, I've just been delaying it and delaying it. And here I am. Okay. Now. I've got an interesting article that I came across. I think I read, yeah, I came across it yesterday. It's an article about how some, how some scientists were researching, um, they, they used a machine and it's, it's a, it's a, it's a flavor of the MRI machine, magnetic resonance imaging, except it's in real time and the deal with that is the deal with that is the um, they use the real-time MRI machine to determine um, changes in the body and the brain's chemistry um, in real time. Just so to to uh, what am I saying? The deal was there. The scientists they were trying to figure out um, what. They, they were given a series of tests, series of psychological tests, and they were trying to compare altruism and selfishness. And um, what they found was in some people, uh, no, there was a strong link between people that were that were uh, altruistic, and it. Um, People that were altruistic created certain chemicals in their brain and people that were not just did not. So what it was really saying was there's a strong link between those who were um, those who are generous are biologically generous and those who are selfish or it implies that those who are selfish are biologically selfish that's how they are and does that mean that the spots on a leopard do not change meaning that um, people are the way they are and they can't change because that's how they are they're biologically the way they are um, it, it raises a lot of interesting very very interesting um, questions a lot of interesting philosophical questions. It's really incredible how when they combine psychology with biology or with the, yeah, you know, they, they have two cross disciplines and they, they find out something very unique that becomes, you know, a big philosophical issue, you know, using technology to come up with that stuff. I find that stuff incredibly fascinating. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get that article and I'm going to attach it to a link on a port on, on the vlog so you can click and read that article yourself. It's not like an article from, you know, like Cosmopolitan or some, some, you know, consumer magazine. It's, it's, it's a trade, it's like a scientific journal 
uh, where they have some findings. So, it, you know, it's by legitimate, uh, very legitimate researchers. It's not like something that was, you know, non-scientific. I, I, I think, I think a lot of these things, uh, you know, I had a lengthy discussion, an email discussion with one of my buddies on, on this topic. And we got to talking about um, women, you know, women and dating. And we, you know, I, I like to take information that I've acquired and I've learned. And I'd like to, I like to, I'm a big applications guy. I like, I like applied information, taking knowledge and see how I can apply it. And we got to talking about, you know, is it, is it really so that, um, we, 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 I don't know where the, I think, let's see, how did it work out? How did it go? Okay. We, he would, he had mentioned a while ago that, um, women in certain areas of the United States, I'm not going to say where, um, are a lot more materialistic and also a lot more selfish. Now, in a previous vlog I had read, uh, I had talked about materialism and the development of materialism at a very young age as a result of um, family time. The, the more family time you spend, the less materialistic chi children will become. And I was, I, you know, I, I, I like to formulate a bunch of social philosophical um, theories here. And um, we, we were, we were. I'm. I'm just trying to find out how to de determine if a if a woman is an evil woman or a selfish woman or whatever. And more on this later.